Yeah, you know, it's that attachment that people have to each other. It's so fucking intense that when they break, when someone breaks up with you and then starts dating someone else, they, you feel like they stole from you. Like they stole your happiness. You know, yeah. it's like, where's my fucking happiness? And why am I, why is my happiness been replaced with deep sorrow and it's sadness? It's a devastating feeling, it's fucking man. Fucking crushing, man. There's nothing actually, like, separate from that that makes you feel that quite that way. No. I can't think of anything. No, else. like death. Yeah, death. It's like death. It's like a death. A dog dies. More than a dog dies. Yeah. A friend dies. A friend dies. Yeah. yeah, it's a devastating thing for people, man. It's because nature has it set up that we attach to each other and that we become addicted to each other. And that we, we literally, uh, having that person in your life, is like your whole formula, your your whole like balance is, it's, it's, it requires having that person in the system. Right. Like you have a whole system and that person you go to for your love and your sex and your and you, they like lock into your grid. You know, when they're gone, it's like you have this gaping hole where that person used to be. Yeah. And most people just try to fill that bitch up real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the next one? The next one yeah. you know, we got a leak, you know, plug it up. It's weird, man, but it's all set up so that we breathe. It's all like these weird little biological tricks. You know, like the, the irrationality of the breakup depression. It's so intense, and you can tell people all day, it doesn't matter, there's other people out there, you're doesn't gonna matter. get it doesn't matter, you can say, you can rationalize all day, and, and there's, there's gonna be times when people make phone calls they should not fucking make, yeah. you know it's over, but you're like, if I just call her, maybe, maybe I never expressed myself, maybe yeah. I never did it the right way, yeah. and then you call her, and then that's that empty feeling where you're talking to them, and they really don't want to talk to you, and they're like, listen, I think I need to be by myself, listen, just give me a chance, yeah. just try, no, I'm I am with someone right now. I'm like, what? Then, then, you're what? Then, then, and then, oh. Yeah. Uh, and then you hang up, and then you can't sleep, and you're devastated. Like, what a trick. What a terrible trick. And if you look back on some of the times you've had those situations, and how fucking happy you are that they, you broke up with that person. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how many times does that happen? Well, you look back on, like, like when I was 21, and my, my girlfriend broke up with me. I was so sad for, like, a week. I couldn't believe it. I thought she was going to be the one. We are going to have babies together and shit. But now I think back on I think about just like times where like I went out even you know when I was like wanted to pursue somebody and then like maybe went out with them a few times and didn't yeah. work out didn't know and how that was like like you know it was like depressing like, right you, know, and you met and then you get to like you sort of get yeah. to know the person from a distance you're like can you imagine if I had ended up like if, if oh. that had worked out I would be miserable today have you ever had an angry girlfriend uh no I've had a few Tolerate like this, this yelling and this craziness in your life. You tolerate people getting pissy. You tolerate negativity, and, and then you realize one day, like you break up with them, and you go, okay, the the fucking noise has stopped. Yeah. Like the, the my, I feel so much better. Like I was dating a fucking crazy it was person. Like shaking your yeah. Floor, yeah. It's like I was dating some fucking some monster, some some deficit in my life. You know.